I hope to wear a Bruno on frame shirt. I don't want to stomp on my head with those big feet. Today we're going to discuss an article by Tim Newton on the website The Tiger called The 10 Things Not to Do in Thailand, The Basics 2020. This goes through some basic cultural faux pas to avoid. Some are pretty common sense, others maybe you've never heard of. Let's jump into it. Let's go to the restaurant. Ah, oh, Spider Cap. Alright. Alright, come come back up. Self serve. Story of my life. As always, that was good. A little spicy, but good. All right, before I get into the article, um, let me show some video from a couple weeks ago. Uh, an old friend of mine, Eric, did something really awesome for me. Uh, I was big surprise. You know what? Let me roll the video. This is from two weeks ago. I was out in play, visiting my girlfriend and her family. And um, yeah, and actually in the video, if you notice a continuity flaw, please leave a comment down below. Coming to you from a very smoky play Thailand. Where's my mask? Things we do for love. There are two things that are abundant in play. Coffee shops and temples. Well, today it's not a new temple, it's a new coffee shop. It's called, what's it called? Kik Ka Kui. Let's give it a try. Ah, Smarty Cup. Let's just go right here. Oh, wow, nice. Hey, you're, you're, uh, you're Kui. Kui, I, uh, I know your name better than you. <laughs> I would like a um, cappuccino lawn cup. Cup of Oh, nice. Sway ma. Honey, do you want some uh, cake or something? I like it. I wow, this is nice. My cappuccino comes with tea. What kind of tea is it? Caramel? Gekwe. I don't know what that is. Gekwe. Gekwe. Hey, Lou. <laughs> but I got free tea. Oh my gosh, look at this. Check this out. An old friend of mine just sent me the best gift. He sent me a cameo from Marky Ramon. Hey, Ken, it's Marky Ramon. I hear you have a great station called Bruno Unframed about living in Thailand as an expat on YouTube. And love that you wear a Ramon shirt. I hope to wear a Bruno Unframed shirt when I see you in Thailand. I hear it's a rockin' town and thanks for being a Ramones fan. And hey ho, let's go. And gaba gaba hey. Is it blurry? Eric, thank you so much. That is so nice. Ramones, my favorite band. Marky Ramone. I, I'm beyond words right now. Thank you so much. Wasn't that awesome? Thank you so much again, Eric. I appreciate it. Also, I want to give a special shout out to my friend Steve, who was nice enough to send me a couple N95 masks like two, three days ago. I really appreciate it. They'll be, uh, they'll be used in good health. Thank you so much, Steve. Actually, a couple months ago, I did a reaction to an article from the same author and same website called The 10 Hard Truths of Expats in Thailand. Link above. Well, this one's a bit different. Top 10 Things Not to Do in Thailand, The Basics 2020 by Mr. Tim Newton. There's some pretty common sense things in this uh, article, and also there's a couple kind of non-common sense things, kind of things that are pretty uh, specific to Thailand. So if you're coming here for the first time or if you're a long time expat and there might be a few things you don't know about, so uh, stay tuned. So okay, let's go through the 10 points, starting with number one. Don't point your feet. The article says, as the head is revered as the top of the body and closest to heaven, the feet are close to the ground and just dirty. In summary, don't point your feet at people, Buddha statues, Images of um, important people, like a framed picture or something, that's, that's a big no-no here. A few months ago, I saw this shirtless beef cake at a temple. I was gonna say something, but he left pretty quick, and um, he's a pretty big guy. I didn't, wanna, I didn't want him to stomp on my head with those big feet. I've said things to foreigners in the past about, like, you know, at a temple, and 
They kind of get a little defensive. I, I guess I can understand why. I think I'm being nice about it, but people don't like being told that they're doing something wrong. All right, number two, don't touch people on the head. If you're not intimate with the person or unless they're very young, it's going to be taken as disrespectful or at least a cultural faux pas. In the US, we don't go around grabbing people by the head. So I think this one's kind of an old brainer. I think that's pretty much how it is in most countries. Number three, don't flash the flesh. Ties are mostly a conservative bunch and will frown upon you showing up extra skin that is not required. The article correctly points out that there are, you know, a few bigger cities like Bangkok or Pattaya or, you know, someplace like that where this is a bit of an exception, but overall, this is the norm. Thailand is very conservative when it comes to the way you dress. You know, I am pretty proud of my physique and, you know, I love walking around with my shirt off, but the streets of Chiang Mai is not appropriate. Number four, don't discuss the Thai monarchy. That's all I'm going to say about that. Yeah, don't. Yeah, that's something you shouldn't discuss. And also be very respectful to like the Thai money or framed pictures of the monarchy. It's, uh, yeah, that one you need to be really careful of. Number five, things not to do around monks and temples. Here's a couple of them, I'll, I'll read them out. Uh, women, don't touch monks or even hand them anything. If you wanna give a monk money or something to look at, you need to like put it on like a cloth and they'll pull it towards them or hand it to a man. There's a lot of rules about that. And entering a temple, you know, remove your shoes. Also, you should try to be as silent as possible. Yeah, this, I, um, yeah, I've seen a lot of contradictions to this from locals and from foreigners. I've been in temples like meditating and I'll hear someone screaming on a phone and there's someone five, like, five feet from me, just yapping on their mobile phone, just not caring about their, their volume. So I, th I think in any type of house of worship, I think it's nice to be respectfully silent or, or whisper. Also when entering a temple, it's good to observe like a, you know, a conservative dress code, you know, yeah, no shirtless dudes walking around or, um, yeah, girls are supposed to be covered up and not be wearing short shorts. There's usually like a, like a little guide at the entrance of the temple. There are more down in the link below. Number six, PDA. When in public in Thailand, you will rarely see any displays of affection towards each other in public. At the market, my girlfriend and I, you know, I'll hold on to her arm just to kind of keep track of her to first she doesn't get lost or anything because, all right. Not proud of this, but there's been a couple of times where I'm walking with her and you know I'm taking pictures and videos and I don't see her and I'm like, oh there she is and I walk up to the wrong person. I'm like, hey, how's it going, honey? And some woman looks at me I'm like, ah, sorry. Number seven, don't lose your cool. Or it says in an article, or how to lose friends and not influence people in Thailand. I've talked about this before. It's it's not cool to lose your cool. You always try to, you know maintain some um, some composure especially in Thailand there's that whole face thing but you know it, it is it's normal to get upset about something so just try to be appropriate take a breath try to keep things in perspective which is really difficult because I mean I mean speaking from my point of view and some of my friends who live here we're expats we're in a different country so we can be a little more sensitive because we are outside of our element, but you know, it's not going to help the situation if you flip out. So you just got to be, you got to keep your head about you. Number eight, dress up, not down. You're here for a relaxing holiday, but keeping neat and clean, no matter what you're wearing, will be appreciated by ties. Yeah, I think that's kind of most cultures. Uh, I think in America, we can be pretty casual in the way we dress, but I think most cultures kind of you know, respect or uh, kind of promote dressing smart sometimes. I mean, but honestly, I think ties are really, I think they dress really well. I mean, they don't wear like a shirt with birds on it and a Ramon shirt. But yeah, yeah, but I think ties overall are pretty fashionable people. But you know, what do I know? I'm not no Gloria Vanderbilt. 
Number nine. Don't whistle at night and other superstitions. Don't whistle at night. It's a Thai superstition that you will call in the ghost and other bad spirits if you whistle in the evening. This is kind of an older superstition. I'm a bit of a whistler, so I've been known to uh, I've been known to break this rule. And I don't know. Sometimes when I'm at home alone watching Netflix, I want like a buddy to watch, like I don't know, Stranger Things or whatever I'm watching. You know, I, I whistle to try to summon up a spirit to sit with me and watch it. Maybe uh, share some some Pringles. But so far, as far as I know, it has not worked. It also discusses some other superstitions. For example, don't cut your hair on a Wednesday. That one I've heard, and that one I usually don't do. I mean, you can't tell by how messed up my hair looks most of the time, but I usually don't get my hair cut on a Wednesday. I've never heard of this one, but in an article it says that if you eat the last piece of food on the plate when sharing, you will get a handsome boyfriend or pretty girlfriend. I'm a bit of a slob, so whenever I'm with people, I'm usually like over there shoveling the food in my mouth, so maybe this is why I have such a pretty girlfriend. Okay, this is the last one I'm gonna cover in this little, in uh, number nine, the superstition one. Your finger will fall off if you point at a rainbow. I have never heard this one. If anyone knows the origin or anything of what I've been talking about, please comment below. And the last one, number 10. Don't take things too seriously. My bin lai and sabai sabai translated, don't worry, no worries, and relax, take it easy. I really like this one, and I feel it's kind of rubbed off on me living here. Um, yeah, Thais are a lot more laid back than people back in America. The article points out a common mantra or like a little saying that foreigners have, T-I-T, -I -T, this is Thailand. Which means you're in a different country, it's a very foreign, it's, it's Thailand. So, if something can't be explained, don't try to wrap your brain around it, just try to adapt to it. So yeah, yeah, I, I like this one, it's a good one. Yeah, there's a couple more things in our article, but these are the ones I'm going to cover. The link's down below. Another good article by Tim Newton. Um, I like the Tiger. That's a really good website. I go on there all the time for my news. In the comments below, you know, please put like, if you're in another country or if you've been in Thailand, like, what do you think of some of these, um, like these things not to do? How does that affect you in your other country? Or if you live in Thailand, you agree, disagree? Did you want to add something, want to subtract something? Whatever it is, I love the dialogue. Please comment below. And actually, also I mentioned earlier that video of me in play uh, watching that uh, video of Marky Ramon, did you notice a continuity error in that video? There was something, there's something up in that video. So yeah, comment below if you noticed it. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I have over 600 subscribers. That happened uh, last week. I was very happy about that. If you're subscribed, click that bell. Get those notifications. And as I've been saying, if you want to contact me, click on the Instagram link down below. You can send me a direct message there. I love talking to you guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And as always, no matter who you are or where you are, push.